Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the annual reports of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty the King was handed over the reports while receiving the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, and the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, in addition to their deputies at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Shura Chairman and the Speaker for the dedicated and successful efforts they had exerted throughout the fifth legislative term, hailing the Kingdom's achievements in strengthening the democratic market for the interests of the nation and the citizens. His Majesty expressed his pride in the effective role the legislative branch plays in supporting the kingdom's development process, defending top national interests and strengthening cooperation relations with various brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty the King added that Bahrain is a cohesive, one-family nation with highly patriotic people and that the kingdom progresses mar progressive march will continue in all fields. His Majesty the King added that Bahrain boasts a rich history and a prosperous is present across various fields, citing its wide-ranging achievements and the endeavors towards a brighter future. His Majesty highlighted the achievements and constructive ideas on the means to develop the legislative performance in the Kingdom included in the annual reports of the Shura and Representatives Councils, praising the advanced level of fruitful cooperation between the executive and legislative branches. While tackling the upcoming parliamentary and municipal elections, His Majesty the King expressed hope that during the sixth legislative term, the Kingdom will be able to optimize its gains and further develop its economy, praising Bahraini citizens' solidarity and dedication to serving their country locally and abroad. For her part, the Speaker of the Representatives Council asserted that His Majesty the King's support and visions are crucial for enriching the achievements of the state and law and institutions in the Kingdom. His Majesty the King was presented with a copy of the three-chapter Parliamentary Guide to Legislative and Oversight Tools. For her, his part, the Chura Council Chairman affirmed that the ongoing royal support enjoyed by the Legislative Branch had been a catalyst for intensifying its constructive efforts to bring about more achievements to the Kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain is proceeding at a steady pace in its wise diplomatic approach and developmental and civilizational path under the leadership of His Majesty the King and is committed to constructive cooperation with all countries. The wise diplomatic approach and insightful vision of His Majesty the King at various regional and international levels strengthen the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a pioneering model in consolidating moderation and constructive cooperation, achieving security, peace, prosperity, sustainable development and serving humanity. His Majesty the King's recent diplomatic efforts produced fruitful outcomes during his visits and discussions at the Jeddah Security and Development Summit, the Fraternal Consultative Meeting in the Egyptian city of Al Alamein, and the Bahraini French Summit in Paris. These important meetings affirmed Bahrain's keenness to lay the foundations of peace, security, development and welfare for all with the support and follow-up of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Majesty the King's participation in the Jeddah Security and Development Summit reflected the importance of the Arab-American strategic partnership in consolidating regional and international peace and security. His Majesty the King's participation in the Fraternal Consultative Meeting reflected the depth of the close, historical relations between Bahrain and the participating brotherly countries. His Majesty the King and the French President also held a meeting which affirmed the two countries' interest in consolidating friendship and strategic partnership in a number of vital areas. Bahrain is committed to constructive cooperation with all countries on the basis of friendship and mutual respect and providing a regional and international environment in which peace, security, stability and sustainable development prevail. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended his gratitude and appreciation for the continued support provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Kingdom's progress and development. His Royal Highness commended His Majesty the King's directive to improve education services in line with His Majesty's directive. His Royal Highness instructed that a parent induction day be held at public schools to introduce parents and guardians to educational and administrative bodies and give them a voucher to purchase school stationery and supplies. His Royal Highness commended the Ministry of Education and its staff who have contributed to a successful induction day that was well attended and received by parents. His Royal Highness concluded by emphasizing that the development of the education sector is the responsibility of its educational and administrative staff, whose efforts are required to meet the Kingdom's goals and ensure Bahraini citizens continue to excel in line with the Kingdom's progress and development. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibiyah Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of the official talks held in Paris between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, which indicated the two countries' shared commitment to strengthening bilateral relations. The cabinet extended its gratitude to His Majesty the King for his directives to further improve the kingdom's educational services and for the orders of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to arrange a Parent Induction Day to be held by public schools to introduce parents and guardians to the educational and administrative bodies. At the induction, parents and guardians were also given a folder with information on the new academic year, which has facilitated the preparation for the reinstallment of in-person learning across all educational institutions. The Cabinet noted the positive response from parents and guardians on the initiative and commended the efforts of the Ministry of Education and the educational and academic bodies across public schools for ensuring a successful induction day for parents. In this regard, the cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Education regarding the procedures for the induction day to mark the International Day of Charity and cabinet affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to adopting initiatives that further humanitarian relief, making it a model to be emulated internationally. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an agreement between Bahrain and Tajikistan regarding exemption from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic special and service passports. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Le Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to four proposals and two law proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Labour regarding the outcomes of the summer work ban in 2022, which outlined a decrease in occupational accidents and an increase in productivity. The Cabinet then took note of several ministerial reports regarding the outcomes of the meetings of the Executive Committee of the International Bureau of Education of UNESCO, the visit to France, participation in the Tatarstan oil, gas and petrochemistry forum, and the visit to Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Islamic Affairs, Dawa and Guidance. The Representatives Council Speaker Fozia Zainal marked the International Day of Charity celebrated on September 5th. She stressed that charitable and humanitarian work is a culture that is rooted in Bahraini society, expressing pride in the humanitarian approach drawn by His Majesty the King. She praised the charitable efforts made by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the keenness to widen the horizon of charitable work within the Kingdom and abroad. Zainal also praised the, royal, the role of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation shared by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and its national contributions and development projects to provide aid to the people in need. The chairman of the Shura Council, Adia Saleh, hailed the efforts of the government in implementing the initiatives and programs that support the humanitarian and charity work system. He commended the support of His Majesty the King to provide relief and support to people facing natural disasters and crises. Uh, Saleh affirmed that Bahrain continues to the approach of charitable work instilled throughout history. He expressed pride in the high status that Bahrain achieved regionally and internationally in the fields of charitable work, praising the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to continue the development of charitable work. The Shura Council Chairman noted that the Royal Humanitarian Foundation is a model in humanitarian and charitable work, highlighting the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain attaches great importance to charitable and humanitarian work as it represents a noble value based on giving in all its forms. This comes in light of Bahrain's celebration of the International Day of Charity. Bahrain has many charitable civil institutions and bodies that have formed a foundation and a tributary in humanitarian work and a beginning of the process of continuous giving. The Kingdom has made clear and considerable contributions in delivering humanitarian aid to the afflicted and those in need to all parts of the world. These relief efforts and supports were based on the kingdom's belief in the necessity of concerted international efforts to support charitable and humanitarian work by providing urgent aid to alleviate the suffering of the afflicted as a result of natural and other disasters in order to consolidate the principle of social solidarity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Azayani, received local columnists in the presence of the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Consular and Administrative Affairs, Dr. Mohammed Ali Bahzad, and a number of officials. The Minister welcomed the outcomes of the recent visit of His Majesty the King to Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and France, where he participated in a number of meetings and events. He affirmed that His Majesty's participation reflected his keenness to strengthen Bahraini ties with other countries and support all efforts that aim at preserving peace and security in all countries of the world. Dr. Zayani commended His Majesty's diplomatic approach, which focuses on promoting the values of peace, cooperation and dialogue. He also highlighted a number of topics that were addressed during His Majesty's visit, including the Palestinian cause, combating terrorism, food security, trade and investment cooperation, among many others. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Zayani, met with the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Samir Abdullah Nas. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the most important developments in the industrial and commercial sectors in the kingdom. Zayani expressed the Ministry's commitment to strengthening public-private partnership to achieve the set development goals as, as per the adopted strategies. He affirmed that the BCCI plays an important role in enhancing Bahrain's economy and contributing to raising the private sector's contribution to the GDP. In our international news, China's President Xi Jinping announced that, countries backing, that the country's backing to Saudi Arabia's Expo 2030 bid in a letter to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The handwritten letter highlighted the solid relations between the two countries and means to develop them in all fields. The two sides discussed bilateral relations and means to enhance them in various fields. They also exchanged views on issues of common interest. The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Hassisi received the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud. During the meeting, the Egyptian President stressed the strategic peculiarity of the Egyptian Saudi relations as they represent a pillar for the stability of the entire Arab region, especially in light of the delicate circumstances and challenges that the Arab countries are facing. <laughs> 